All right, let's try to get done what I couldn't do live. We're having technical difficulties. Um, we all know what it is. I made a video telling the truth about how I felt. And there's people highly vested in how I feel about a situation. <laughs> and it don't sit well with them. So... Knowing that, we move forward. Now, what I was trying to express and get across to the general public, you know, um, I would love for the people to know is that, uh, The Clippers are, I mean, well, they weren't trying to get back Montrez Harrell. They did not even make an attempt, really, into bringing him back to the organization. Now, this is the sixth man of the year. And it wasn't as if Trez was going to be welcomed back like they really wanted him to come back. People were fed up with Trez, and from the person I talked to, gave me a little bit more insight as to why. Trez needs maturity, from what I was told. Um, there's a lot of immature incidents that happen throughout the season, from the beginning of the season, trying to get adjusted to uh, Kawhi and Paul George coming there. You know, previous to this, two seasons ago, there was problems. And Trez has had this over his head. He's a bit immature. So this had nothing to do with the Luka Doncic situation. Um, that had nothing to do with why he, you know, they didn't want to get him out of there and all that. That's just basketball. So they dealt with that as as they see fit. But what Kawhi was trying to do, but he's not that vocal, is he tries to keep Trez's mind focused on basketball. Trez is somebody who's easily distracted easily frustrated and can get his mind out of the game now his skill to play the game has always been you know known throughout the league you know so people have always known about Trez and what Trez brings to the table and his abilities I mean two year 19 million for the Lakers paid that's a steal you know, that that's that's really an insult to the league and it's not even a fair deal. Like why would someone <clears throat> his agency take that? But that's not either nor there. The Kawhi Leonard strip club video. The other incident that happened with a female reporter that was never that was taken care of in-house these are the things I was told there was an incident with a female reporter small incident but it was taken care of in-house and did not spill out into the media it was a quick apology and it was dealt with but it was part of this immaturity that they didn't want to go, you know, they didn't want to see. You know, he plays a lot of games and everything like that. But they are okay with him going to the Lakers. They think LeBron James, from what I was told, they think LeBron James can help him mature. And they hope, because he's a different type of, of leader than Kawhi Leonard. Kawhi is a leader by example. LeBron is a talker. 
and hopefully he could throw an arm around Trez, bring him in, and try to get him to mature and show this is how you do it at this level. And Trez probably looks up to LeBron, you know. A lot of them, a lot of players look up to LeBron. They're younger because they believe the commercials, the hype. So he's probably not going to want to disappoint LeBron. As where Kawhi, he never probably had a relationship or anything with LeBron. I mean, with Kawhi Leonard. Kawhi Leonard is not, once he once he clocks out <laughs> and goes in, in away, he's hanging out with his family. He's not really finna spend time with the team and they finna do this and that. Kawhi comes there to, the, this is his office. You know, he's not kicking it. He's not He's not this guy. You know, Kawhi went to the club to show solidarity when they got him to go out to the club. And then somebody wants to videotape him and put it out. And immediately they took care of that, the Clippers. They took care of that incident. Have you noticed you haven't seen that footage probably since that day, the first day it came out? It just disappeared and went away and nobody talked about it probably some people probably be like I don't even know what you're talking about that's how well they take care of things they don't want to come out and they're gonna they investigate what happened there and find out why is this leaked why is this even out and making sure the sports news, you know, don't harbor over it or bring it back up, just disappears. Now, we've seen incidents where Bronny, who they promote on their sports shows, this is a high school kid, nowhere near top in the nation, but his father's LeBron James. So he gets mentioned on ESPN, Fox, and whatever they're doing basketball. He has an incident where someone records him smoking. Did any one of these sports networks decide to cover it? Did any of them? Hmm? Nope. And do you want to know something else? There's a major reason why. And the major reason why Is because we know why he controls the damn media. <laughs> now, Jerry West is a man who's about conduct, character, and definitely loyal to your teammates. Loyalty to your team. One thing Jerry West does not like is in-house abordination. Now, when you start thinking about what is in-house abordination, insubordination rather, what you see in here? 
all this bickering with Paul George and Trez. This was bigger than Paul George and Trez. Paul George was never leaving in a trade or nothing at the end of the season. But the relationship with Trez and Paul George was not going to stand. That was just the icing on the cake. Trez has got to go. He wanted out. He didn't want really to want to be there no more with them. Not with Paul George. He kept up a lot of BS on the team. He brought a lot of negativity, pointing out he wasn't getting the ball enough in certain games. He's the guys who really built the team before these guys got here. You know, it's like, dude, you weren't making the playoffs. And if you did, you were out in like the first round. Now you, you got the chance to go to an NBA championship. You know, to me, you got you got to get those guys out of the locker room. You know, let him, Draymond, let, let them become the Los Angeles clutch <laughs> basketball team. You know, put them all on one team and let them just play, play everybody else. And that way you ain't got to sabotage the rest of the league. Just put all the clutch players on one team. Great, great, great. Now I got to go take care of this. Um, anyhow, thank y'all, man. I appreciate all the love and support you guys do for the page. Don't forget to like the video. Subscribe. I'm trying to work on making sure all you guys get notified the way it's supposed to be. That's my job. <laughs> you know, to stay on them. So... And if you're not getting your notification, make sure you hit the send feedback button and say, hey, I'm not getting my notification. I will like my notification. So, uh, let me know. You know, if you're new here and it's your first video, welcome. Don't forget to subscribe again. And, yeah, we got something very, very, very groundbreaking on Carcino for Life's Patreon. Don't forget that. So if you're a Patreon member or you're going to sign up, um, it's there. <laughs> yeah, you got the names. So just go to work. And you'll start seeing how deep that rabbit hole really goes.